Attention! Attention, everyone! Here we are, Christian. Good to see you. So, there he is. You made it. This is a night show. Nah. I'd know that even if I didn't know the time. I mean, we had a great show with the early eaters, but there is just something about being a little later in the evening, right? Things go down a little smoother, right? Uh, and we're just so excited to have you all here with us. Now, uh, you may have noticed that I am not your cruise director, Lenka Ma. Oh, but she is. Lenka. Well, it's really good to see you. I was, I was just greeting our audience. So, um, why don't you come up here and just say a few words? Hello everyone, it's lovely to see all of your faces again. Are you having a good time so far on the house? Oh, that is wonderful to hear because we're still early in our journey and there's so much more to come. But now, I'd like to introduce a spectacular show with an amazing That's show. That's so kind of you. Thank you so much, Lincoln. Now, as I was saying, before I was so pleasantly interrupted, I am Wraith Cole. Guy, yeah! Now, I've met so many of you wonderful people. Those who I haven't met yet, let's rectify that soon. I am always happy to make new friends and allies. I'd just uh, like to point out that Ray Cole is not a member of the Halcyon crew, even though he likes to believe that he is. <laughs> not at all. He's so sweet. Not at all, Lenka. I happen to be Gaia's manager, which is one of the greatest jobs in the world. I mean, the crew of the Halcyon is top notch. Let's give a round of applause for the crew and the staff of the Halcyon. Now, as Gaia's manager, I have the privilege of introducing Gaia as well as her incredible accompanist, a remarkable musician, and wait till you see what she can make this thing do. Let's all welcome Oni! That is wonderful, Oni. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed your performance in the atrium. Now, Ray, I am going to let you have the stage in just a moment, but I am hoping that you and our incredible passengers will join me at 9.45 in the atrium, where we will celebrate our journey with a toast. Will you join me? Absolutely, Ms. Mock. I never miss a chance to have a cocktail. Now, once in a galactic lifetime, you meet someone who is in every sense of the word a star. A songwriter who not only writes music, but she writes from her soul. No matter how many times I stand on a stage that she is about to electrify, it somehow always feels like the first night. She's filled concert halls, she's filled stadiums. And tonight, believe me, she will fill this room. Travelers, friends, Gaia.
warm and generous welcome. Ray, I believe you have an errand for Miss Mock to take care of. Now might be a good time for it, and perhaps Lenka could accompany you. Supervise the errand boy, I'd love to. Errand boy, did you hear this? Ah. Everyone did. <laughs> we all know that Lenka is in charge of this journey. Now scoot, so you can get back here to our friends. Now, I am not accustomed to sharing the spotlight of dinner, but I might consider sharing it with you. What's your name, Lenka? Beth. Beth, how are you enjoying the show? It's fantastic. Oh, thank you, but you must have been Beth. Everybody, <laughs> what is my name? Yeah. Yeah, don't you forget it. You won't, will you, Beth? I will not. <laughs> now, as Rafe was so generously saying earlier, there is something special in this room tonight. Can you feel it? Yes. The atmosphere is electric. The energy is energized. It's happening. It's hypnotic. It's, it's me. <laughs> but I cannot electrify this room alone. Well, I, do. I want all of you to share in this experience with me and everybody around you and return that energy. Take a moment to look around at your fellow travelers at the tables. So many different wants and desires that brought each of you on this journey. Now, look at Gaia right on my travels throughout the galaxy, I became a star because I was unafraid to proclaim my wants and desires, to write songs that call out to my people, to name my truth. Everybody, what is my name? And don't you forget it.
the song and the goddess. Hearing my name echo across the galaxy has meant so much to me. The vanity of a star. No, it's because of who and how many I can reach with the message of hope, a message of love, any message at all, and that could mean everything. You're a little sparkle of joy. Where are you from? Corellia sounds exotic. And uh, what about over here? From where have you joined us? New York, Colorado, and Florida sounds interesting. <laughs> and what about back here at this table? Florida sounds habitable. <laughs> now I am from a planet called Ryloth. As you may have noticed, I am a Twi'lek. I am a Twi'lek and fiercely proud to be. But for generations, wars have been fought over my home world, over us. We have been occupied. Conquered, released, only to be claimed again and divided. Now there is a Ryloth stone, the high in the air. It brought harmony to my planet, and it has been perhaps lost or taken, and with it something of who we are. Now that is something that I just cannot stand for. I've been searching for it, and I feel now that it is close. And when I find it, I will take it back home. Home to Ryloth. Home to my people. Hiya, 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 na, 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 Here have all the knowledge. Don't they say a drill? 
everybody. We have a special guest this evening. Sandra, say hello. Hello. Sandra attended our previous performance, and it looks like he's out for more. He is so shy in this one, which I think is adorable. What do you think, Bonnie? Now, Sandra joined us on stage at our last show, and I dare say he had a good time. Oh, I really did. <laughs> and would you like to do it again? Oh, I really would. Well, then come on up and let's make some noise. <laughs> now, Sandra, this next song is one of your favorites, I believe. Can you tell us what it's about? Galaxio. Yes. Short and sweet. But what is Coaxium? Who can tell the class? Fuel. Fuel, yes. Coaxium is fuel, but it is so much more. Coaxium is power. You and your friends like to hoard that sort of power, don't you, We protect what is ours. That makes sense. That's why I have never been protected by you and your friends. I am not yours. That leaves me and my friends, and I'm sure I can find a few more here tonight, free to harness the power that can take you everywhere and get you anywhere. The power of coaxium. You ready?
an incredible I think I was thinking what if we, we all got together and, and we all went on like a tour? A tour. A tour. Yes. That's not a bad idea. You know what? First stop, right back over there. All right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. You know, after I perform that song, and I do perform that song, right? I often find that I need a little sip of something. This is the part where somebody brings me a sip of something. <laughs> Thank you. Huh. It's very important to stay hydrated. You know, I think it's time to cool things down a bit. Wani.
but not really an easy one to say. I don't think that's a good one. Now I've been reaching deep down and pulling up feelings that you've tried to keep sealed away. But I've learned in my life that sometimes you just have to let those feelings out. Hey! Would you show some respect they're trying to play? Yes. Vagabond musician. I suggest you show some respect because I am not playing. But I suppose you'll learn that soon enough. Forgive the interruption. On the show, as they say. Thank you, Sandra. Halt! Please. What is your your definition of royalty? A general, perhaps? The lowest spring leader? Yes. And how out of reach is that rank for, say, a lieutenant? A bit more at present than will be after this mission. Good for you, Lieutenant. You know, I myself have climbed through the ranks, you might say. And what ranks would those be? The invisible. I've risen to become my own version of royalty. You might say that I am... The rock star queen. And I'm about to hold court. <laughs> when this song, <laughs> when this song rocks the home of men, somewhere in the guidance sphere, a dance is born. Now it's easy to learn and fun to do, and tonight we are all going to do it together. And Lieutenant, you stayed in your seat at the last show, but this time there will be no exceptions. I... Up it. Gaia has spoken. Now stand at attention. Everyone. Now, Gaia, I will take this side of the room. Lieutenant. You look like a dance waiting to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sandro, you'll take care of this side, right? Show them how we sound. All right, Tomalings, and now we celebrate the rock star queen. <laughs>
Samuel, I owe you an apology. I am not afraid to say that I was wrong. This is an excellent service to the order. Uh, yeah, you got it, Captain. I will show the Wookiee to my troopers. And we oh, no, 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 oh. Lieutenant. I insist. You are a passenger. You are enjoying this show. Sammy and I will get the Wookiee to your troopers. Please continue to enjoy. Yeah, the right As you say. To the brig, Wookie. Have heard this audience and encore as well as we to say to the Thank you, Mr. <laughs> I'm sure I do not. I'm sure Santa does. Wallachuka! Wallachuka! Yeah, go hang out with the woman. So, travelers, friends, I am thrilled to announce that Gaia has graciously accepted to perform again tomorrow evening in the atrium around 7.15 tomorrow night. Now this will be a first. Yes, it will indeed. But you know what? You can still have power even when you're unplugged. Beautiful. Tomorrow night, 715 in the house, and you are all invited. Am I loves about that encore? Yes. Let us. Ooh,